Hello, I'm Jay Kinzer, Vice President for Student Services and Athletic Director at Trinity Valley Community College, and I'm uh, very excited to be here visiting with you uh, about this year's athletic programs and, and some of the outstanding things we've done this year. Uh, we've had another uh, outstanding year at, here uh, in the Valley with Cardinal Athletics, just like, uh, just like past years. We have such a tra tradition that's been built here and uh, do our best to uphold it every year. Um, unfortunately, we've gone through some tremendous, tremendously difficult things uh, this year. All of us have, and we're still going through uh, these things. I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely been, is unprecedented uh, in some of the difficulties that we're facing with the coronavirus, uh, with some of the shutdowns and some of the uh, uh, things that we're, that we're having to do. Uh, all of these things are absolutely necessary. Our safety, the safety of our students, our staff, our faculty, uh, and our society is absolutely the most important thing. And so all of these changes uh, and, and that, that we're having to make are, are necessary, but they have created difficulty in, in uh, trying to finish up seasons and, and, and have athletic programs. But nonetheless, we're able to uh, adjust, be flexible, move forward, and uh, still have a great number of successes uh, through the year. And that's why I'm so excited uh, today to be able to talk to you about some of these successes. Generally, we'd be doing this in our annual athletic banquet that we hold every April. It's a, it's a huge event um, and uh, I look forward to it every year. It's a fun time to see all the student athletes and uh, fans come in in their, in, in their uh, dressed up uh, suits and ties. So there's a lot of times it's even hard to recognize uh, each of them. But it's great to see them in that environment. It's great to celebrate all of the work, the hard work that our coaches and our students put in. Unfortunately, we're not able to have that event this year, uh, but, we're, but we're going to still recognize the successes of our students in our programs. We're gonna do it through uh, this video. Now we're going to do it virtually. We're going to do it online, so you're going to be able to you're going to be able to hear from uh, our coaches, and you're going to be able to see which students uh, get get uh, some awards, um, and we're excited to share that with you. I want to say uh, first of all, thank you though. Thank you to our coaching coaches and our coaching staff. We absolutely have the greatest coaching staff, uh, in my opinion, hands down across the country. As I said before, we have great tradition here at Trinity Valley Community College with our athletic programs. It's a huge part of who we are. It's a huge part of uh, uh, of our of our, how our students are, are successful. It's a, it's a, it's an avenue for them to follow and grow in and be successful. Uh, we've won tw we've won tw uh, 21 national championships in the last 20 five years, which is phenomenal. We've won numerous conference and regional titles and continue to do so. I mean, you stack that up against other colleges across the country and it's just, it, 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 it's amazing what happens right here uh, at Trinity Valley Community College in, in Athens, Texas. And it's a large, in large part, all that success is due to our coaching staff. Uh, so I wanna, I wanna uh, congratulate our coaches for another great year and I want to thank, uh, thank them, thank you all uh, for being, being here, being a part of these programs and helping these students grow and develop and become successful, uh, not just here, but beyond and in their lives. It's what athletics is all about and that's why I'm so excited to be a part of Trinity Valley Community College and about a part of this athletic program. Athletics changes the lives of our students. It provides the students an opportunity to really change their lives. I, I watch student athletes come to this college and spend two years here. And so many times when they leave, I, I have, I've witnessed them change and grow and develop at rates far beyond uh, many other students. And, and it's because they're a part of something special. It's because they're part of a team. They learn how to, how to work as a team, how to grow as a team, how to, how to focus on uh, achieving the same goal. Um, and all those things are tremendous, and athletics really uh, offer that to students, to our students. And in the end, makes them uh, better people, more marketable, and uh, better able to give back to, to our community uh, in the end. And that's what, that's what we're all about. So thank you to the coaches. Thanks to all you do. I have to, I, I have to tell you, this year has been uh, one of the most difficult 
that I've ever experienced in terms of overcoming adversity. We started out the season uh, with basically without having a volleyball coach on staff. We uh, it, it was a it was probably a month before volleyball season started. We had some of our volleyball uh, volleyball players already reporting to campus. We didn't have a coach on staff, um, but we do now, and we were able to hire a coach. Uh, her name's Aaliyah Hayes, and she has done a phenomenal job. We we couldn't be more pleased. All the the the, the weight and some of the stress was was well worth it uh, because I think uh, we have an outstanding coach in Aaliyah. She came in to, and did a great job, had a phenomenal season, uh, was in the top 25 for much of the season at one point, ranked fifth in the country. Our volleyball team was ranked fifth in the country at one time and that's, and that's, a, that's a record for us. Uh, so she came in and did an amazing job and, and uh, our team did fantastic and I couldn't be more proud of, uh, of her and the volleyball team and we're just so happy she's here. Uh, football team came in uh, this year doing, doing outstanding. Started off, uh, I believe started off winning the first four games. Uh, came in really strong, things are looking, looking great. And, and then, uh, and then had, had a mid-season, had a little bit of a setback, had some major injuries. And those kind of things, uh, those kind of things uh, you always expect, but they're always tough to deal with. Uh, coach Poteet and his staff, another outstanding coach, he did a great job. Uh, with with the season, with that adversity, and came back, and Trinity Valley Community College finished the season, played in a bowl game. We were the only team, only program in the state of Texas to play in a bowl game, uh, and we were proud. We we're proud to be able to say that, and we we're proud to do it. And uh, so, thanks to Coach Poe and his his staff, and uh, look forward to to another another great season next year. Uh, we had some changes in the women's basketball program too. Mid-season, Coach Gerald Ewing decided he needed to, uh, he, he had, some, had to resign for, for, for some personal reasons. I know it was a very difficult decision for him, uh, but that was in mid-season. So we were able to bring in Coach uh, Ivy, Coach Precious Ivy, uh, as interim head coach, and she stepped in and did a tremendous job. Uh, really, really a tremendous job. She didn't miss a beat, did not miss a beat, brought the girls together, they, 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 they stayed strong. In fact, I think they got stronger and continued the season, uh, finished the season in record fashion, went into the regional tournament and won the regional tournament, won the entire thing. We went in, under Coach, Coach Ivy's leadership, went into uh, the national tournament, seated number one in the country. We had, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many others, we had a better opportunity this year to win that national championship than we have had in many years. So we were, we were looking forward to going to that tournament. And, uh, and then as you all know, it, it, in the end, it, it, we had, the tournament was canceled and was not played uh, again due to, due, to, due, to the, due to the coronavirus. And I understand it, and, and, it's, and it was necessary, which you know, we, can't, we can't, couldn't have played it, but Gosh, it was it was a tough one to swallow. So we're going to coach Coach Ivy and her staff. They're going to come back, and uh, next year, and we're going we're going to be we're going to be running for that national championship again. We're bringing back some key players, and look forward to getting started next season. On the men's basketball side, we we uh, had some adversity this season as well. Uh, coach Fur did a fantastic job as always. He and his team, uh, coaching staff, uh, do a great job. They're great, a uh, great team of coaches and uh, again they did a great a great job this year we had a situation midseason where we where we uh, lost unfortunately lost about half of our starting roster in men's basketball and uh, coach fur coach Leslie and the team pulled together and and I believe were stronger in the end of the season than they were in the beginning the, those players that that were here understood the situation they stepped up they understood what they had to do and, and they finished, uh, finished in, uh, with, with another successful season. So very proud of them. Uh, softball, softball, uh, uh, talk about adversity. Softball came, we started softball this season. Coach Rodriguez, uh, James and Kat both ha ha recruited a great, a great group of young ladies this year, brought them in and we started off strong. Uh, I was so excited for, for, for softball and softball program. I believe we were 17 and six 
uh, at the point we had to we had to shut it down. Uh, so so things momentum uh, going well with softball as well, and, and we were looking forward to a great season. Uh, it, it, again, they, they'll they'll continue on, uh, continue on doing the things that uh, they need to do to work hard to, to recruit, and we're already looking for next forward to next year. We're going to bring back several players, so we're going to come back next year and, and, and uh, hit it hard in softball as well. So looking forward to that. Uh, Cheer had another great year, another great year. Uh, amazing things happening in Cheer. Coach Vonte, Coach Franklin do a great job. Obviously with, with 11 national championships, you, 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 you know, uh, usually that's enough said, but, but I can't talk uh, enough about Coach Vonte uh, and, and the program we have there. They, they're doing great things. Uh, we had the crew in uh, that was filming the, you know, the, the, the series about our cheer program this year, and that was exciting. There was a lot of momentum with, with that program, and still is. Uh, things, things moving right along, but unfortunately the national, nationals were canceled, so we were unable to, really unable to finish up there, uh, but, but we're, we're, we're looking forward to next year. Coach is already working on moving forward to next year, as with all of our programs, as, as we always do. And I certainly also want to mention uh, Troy Scott in our athletic uh, training department. Without Troy, w we would not be able to do what we do. And so, Troy, thank you. Thank you to all your students who help out, who help keep us, uh, all of our athletes, uh, safe and healthy. And and uh, again, without you, uh, we wouldn't be able to do, do what we do. I also want to recognize uh, Miss Darla Mansfield and the Cardettes for all the support that you all give to, to athletics. Uh, it's phenomenal. I want to I want to recognize our band. Uh, Ken McSpirit and, and Tim Samples for all the things they do. Um, all of that, w with, without each piece, Trinity Valley Community College Athletics aren't what they are. It, it, all of those things combined create the environment and the success that TVCC is. And so thank you all. And that, that includes our fans as well. So uh, very exciting time. Uh, even though a lot of that adversity this year we had to, we had to uh, work through, uh, you know, we, we still had a lot of successes and uh, very excited about that. And, and what this is all about is, is recognizing our students uh, for those successes. And so what you're going to hear uh, now will come from our coaches. Our coaches are going to be introducing and recognizing the award winners and certainly uh, that's, that's exciting. So enjoy that and look forward to seeing who the winners are. It is my honor to present the Leadership Award. This Leadership Award goes to a true leader who has the confidence to stand alone, the courage to make tough decisions, and the compassion to listen to the needs of others. This individual does not set out to be a leader, but becomes one by the quality of their actions and the integrity of their intent. And it is my honor to be able to give this award to Miss Emma Baker, a sophomore here at Trinity Valley. Emma was able to graduate early this December of 2019. She was a two-year player for Trinity Valley Volleyball, and Emma was a wonderful leader, wonderful student, wonderful teammate. Um, she was able to support her whole team, no matter what, on the court, off the court, and just really embraces this leadership award. She is able to do the right thing even when everybody else might be doing something different, but she is able to have a strong voice and bring those around her together, even if they are different or might disagree with something. So Emma, this award is very deserving to you. I am honored to be able to give this award to you. Congratulations, Emma, the Leadership Award. Hello, Mark Leslie, head men's basketball coach. I'm excited and honored today to introduce the winner of the Unsung Hero Award, Titan Archibald. Unsung Hero Award is the glue to the team or the glue to the group or family that holds them together. It's a person that leads his or her actions both on and off the playing surfaces. They are unselfish, not always the star, not always the best stats, but understands their role and gives 100% of whatever that role is. They are determined, self-motivated, disciplined, and has a strong commitment to core values. Titan demonstrated all these attributes this year. Thank you, Titan, for your contributions to the team. It was an honor coaching you, and congratulations on the award.
Hey guys, this is Coach Poteet with Trinity Valley Football. Just wanted to reach out to you, all you Cardinals out there. Uh, my honor today is to introduce the Trinity Valley Athletics, the Rock Award. Um, the Rock Award is the ultimate team player. This athlete's respectful, loyal to his players, to his teammates, uh, to his coaching staff. In essence, this student is as solid as a rock. He does whatever the team asks him to do. And this year, the 2019 football season, 2020, um, athletic season is Race Moser. Also, Race Moser was the defensive player of the year in the Southwest Junior College Football Conference. Race was also a first team linebacker, and Race also was a first team NJCAA All America linebacker. And to throw a little bit extra on there for Race, he was also a Region 14 um, All Academic team as well. Congratulations, Race, for killing it on and off the field. Hey guys, here to present the Dynamic Duo Award. This duo works together to make the team better on the court, understands and demonstrates the importance of teamwork. Uh, they also put the team first in a position to be its very best. And I have the honor to present this award to Tiana Jackson and Tanaya Jackson. Funny that the dynamic duo is the tallest person on my team and the shortest person on my team and they have so much personality and character within the two of them and just so happened their last names are the same so funny thing huh? Hey it's Coach Poteet with Trinity Valley Football. It's my honor this year for the Trinity Valley Community College Athletic Award Banquet we get to announce the Male Athlete of the Year. This year, this student athlete uh, had the most outstanding performance of any male student on campus this year. Go ahead and let's unveil it now. Eddie Godina. Eddie Godina was our kicker who set the school record for field goals made in a season. Eddie also set the Southwest Junior Fo College Football Conference record for field goals made in a season. Eddie also set the NJCAA record for field goals made in a season. Eddie did a great job of representing Trinity Valley on the football field, around this campus, and in the classroom. He did a little bit of everything, and we are surely going to miss Eddie Godina, and we wish him the best in his future endeavors at the four-year level where he received a scholarship to play at Northwestern State University. Congrats, Eddie. All right, it is my honor to present the Female Athlete of the Year Award to Curticia Dean. It goes unsaid that she has been a leader on this team for the past two years, and everyone knows her as New New. And we just are honored as a staff to have coached her and been a part of her greatness here at Trinity Valley. She's a two-time All-American, WBCA, and um, Words just can't express how valuable she was to this team, although our season was cut short and I know that she has some unfinished business here. Um, we, we had a great season. We were 32 and one. And I, I think without her, we, we, we would have struggled a little bit because she just showed so much on and off the court. She was a leader. And um, I know that in her future, she has great things to come, but I just can't talk enough about how much she meant to this program and to this community and the fans here. She, she just gave us everything she had day in and day out, no matter if it was practice or if it was a game. Uh, you definitely knew that she wanted to win each time she stepped out on the floor. And like I said, it's just been an honor to be a part of that. She's probably one of the most efficient kids I've ever been a part of. And she just took so much pride in leading this team in the right direction. And I think that if we were able to go down to Lubbock, that she would have probably led us right to where we wanted to be, which was the national champions. Although, like I said, that was cut short. I just pray that she has a great future in her next school. And again, she's Female Athlete of the Year, and I can go on and on. But we all know that Katicia Dean, AKA Nunu, is just a great thing that has been uh, a product of this program. Thank you. All right, I'm back to introduce our 2019-2020 Trinity Valley Community College Athletics Cardinal Award winner. The Cardinal Award is a sophomore at the, at the Valley. He is also an outstanding performer on and off the field. Um, the positive influence that he brings 
the energy to the students, to the staff, instructors. This guy gets it done in the classroom and also around our campus as well as our field. The Cardinal Award winner this year is Eddie Godina. Congratulations to all of the award winners. Great job. Uh, fantastic. We're proud of you. We look forward to seeing you back here in the fall and getting started on next season. Go Cards!